Hey, it's Andy from FastPath. Today we are going to walk through how FastPath Assure helps publicly traded and pre-IPO companies prepare for Sarbanes-Oxley audits in a NetSuite environment. Assure is a cloud-based security and audit platform designed for NetSuite. With an implementation time of around two hours, Assure makes it easy to understand who has access to NetSuite and where the segregation of duties risks are in that access. First, let's take a look at how Assure makes periodic NetSuite access reviews easy. Assure helps simplify periodic NetSuite access reviews by allowing audit teams to analyze security by role, user, permission. If I go to the Access Reviews place within Assure and choose User Access, I can pick a product, so in this case NetSuite. I can select an object type for NetSuite, it's a permission. I can pick a company, I can select one user, or I can select any of the permission objects within NetSuite, whether they're third party, custom, or native to NetSuite. So I can drop down and scroll here, or I could also just type ahead. So in this case, let's say that we want to know every user in NetSuite that can maintain vendor master data. I can just type in vendors, hit submit, and what Assure is going to do is look across all the users, their role assignments, their global permissions, and bring back a list of the users that have the ability to maintain vendor master data within NetSuite. So here we can see that Homer Simpson has access to vendors, it's a permission, edit level access in the development company, and he's receiving that access via the AP clerk role as well as the bookkeeper role. From here we could export this report to PDF, we could export it to Excel, we can also sign off on the report, so we're providing evidence that the reviews are being done on a timely basis. So here I can just say approved, and then it's going to put a user timestamp on that report, and then there's a signature log within Assure that will show each time a user reviews and sign off, signs off on a report. So far we've seen how easy it is to query NetSuite security for one specific function but most ARPs have around 30 to 50 high-risk access points. Instead of running this analysis 30 to 50 separate times, Assure allows end users to create critical access groups. A critical access group is going to allow you to build a listing of high-risk functions within NetSuite that you want to review on a periodic basis. So here I have a group called Audit. In the middle, these are all of the permissions within NetSuite, and on the right-hand side are the ones that we've picked out as high risk for our organization. So general ledger master data, customer master data, journal entries, purchase orders. So we can choose any permission and add that to the group, whether it's native, third party, or custom NetSuite functionality. Many of the FastPath customers will build groups based on business process area. So for finance, you would see fiscal periods, journal entries, GL master data, banking information. In purchasing, you'd see vendors and purchase orders, receivings, and so on. And then what you would do is task the business process owner with reviewing security for his or her group. So for finance, you would task the controller with reviewing security for that area on a monthly, quarterly, annual basis. So FastPath's team of auditors has developed template groups, uh, and then you can customize any group to meet your own risk profile uh, for your company. Once we've built those groups, we can go to the critical access place within Assure. We can pick the product. Again, here we'll pick NetSuite. We can pick a group, so we'll pick audit from the drop down. The company, again, you can limit that to a specific company. We want all objects in our critical access group, and we want that across all users. So now I hit submit, and it brings us back a listing of any user that has access to any of those permissions and what we've uh, identified as high risk within NetSuite. So this is the functionality that most FastPath customers use to do their access certifications and their access reviews. And again, like the user access, if I select Homer here, it will say that he has access to customers, and then it will tell us the role that is giving him access to that permission, or if Homer is gaining that access through 
a global permission. Assure also automates segregation of duties analysis in NetSuite. There are three key questions that need to be answered in any SOD review. What are your rules? Where are your risks? And finally, what are you doing about those risks? Let's take a look at how Assure helps address those questions. For the first question, what are your rules? FastPath Assure comes delivered with an SOD rule set. The FastPath team of certified internal auditors built a standard set of SOD policies and then mapped those policies to NetSuite functionality. So if I go to reports, conflict listing, this is the rule set that comes out of the box with Assure for NetSuite. So if I read across here, it'll say maintain a vendor master data and create a purchase order for that vendor. It's a NetSuite vendor permission and the NetSuite purchase order permission. It's a high level risk and there's a default mitigation. There are about 120 rules that come out of the box and the rule set is completely customizable by every company to account for custom NetSuite functionality and each individual company's uh, risk profile. So now that we have the rule set, the next thing we need to do is analyze the user access for risks. So if I go to user conflicts, what we're doing here is we're going to build what we call a user's effective access. So looking across all the roles that have been assigned to Homer, all of Homer Simpson's global permissions, and then we're going to take that effective access, compare it to the rule set, and then determine where the violations are against that rule set. So all of this is a detective control, meaning we're not blocking Homer from performing any functionality uh, within NetSuite. We're just identifying that the risk exists in the access for NetSuite. So if I read down here, Homer has access to vendors and purchase orders. It's a high level risk, the description of the risk, the company where the risk exists. And then over here on the right, again, it will show us the roles that are giving Homer the access to the conflicting permissions. So at this time, all we've done so far is recognize that risk exists. Now we need to answer that third question. What are we doing about that risk? So in Assure, I can drill back on the status field and it will open up the mitigate window. And this window allows us to document the compensating control for that risk. So at the top, it's just going to restate the user conflict and then down below I can select a mitigation or resolution code. These are some sample mitigations out of the box, completely customizable by every company. Uh, so here I've said that we do review and approve, the status is proposed, and the note here is all purchase orders are approved via workflow process. So at this point I can uh, mitigate the conflict. Um, I can also go out and see how I've mitigated this in the past for other users. So security is a very fluid thing. As your company grows, you add new users, they change roles, but your controls or mitigations are very static. So similar mitigations allow you to assign mitigations you've used in previous quarter or previous year's reviews against those new users. So the first time you go through an SOD analysis, there is some heavy lifting in doing that documentation but this similar mitigations functionality within Assure is going to allow you to reuse that documentation that you've initially put into the system and therefore expedite each uh, analysis and each audit period. Uh, so all I'd have to do here is say if we wanted Homer to be mitigated uh, just like uh, one of the Lando, I could just pick that, hit mitigate conflict and it would roll that down uh, to the end user as well. You can also view a history uh, so it will show you an audit trail as people have approved or entered new mitigations uh, to that specific conflict. So at this point now we've answered the question of what are our rules, we found out where our risks are, and then we've also assigned a mitigation, what are we doing about it. There's a report uh, within Assure, if I go back to the reports, the conflict status report, and what this will show us is everything in one place. The company, the user, the two conflicting access points, the description, the status, the mitigation, the use, last user to make the change, and the date that that change was made. One final feature for any of the reports that are in Assure is you can schedule those reports. So if this conflict status report should be reviewed on the first of every month, I can schedule that report um, so this is a conflict status report, and it 
Rights Conflict status and I want to save that report and then I want to schedule that report to be delivered. So here are the conflict status report. I can select either a PDF or an Excel sheet. I want a PDF. I can select recipient, so I want to send that to Liz and to Zach. And then I can also say I want that to be sent out on the first of every month. And I can select a start date, so on April 1st, it's going to set that up. And now on the first of every month, Zach and Liz will receive that email with a PDF attached to it. So any of the reports we've seen can be scheduled. So it makes it very easy to get the right information to the right users at the right time to do reviews and then provide the evidence that those reviews have been completed. FastPath Assure also empowers business process owners to request user access to NetSuite. This can include adding a role, adding a user, or terminating a user's access within NetSuite. So here I want to create Bart Simpson in our NetSuite environment. Uh, now I want to add him to applications, so we'll choose NetSuite. I can then enter all of the pertinent data, which subsidiary he should apply to, his password, and the password policies from NetSuite will be enforced uh, in FastPath Assure. And then I can add the optional information as well, so just like a user would inside of NetSuite. And then I can also add an effective date for that login. So if we want to, today is September uh, 15th and we want BART to start on October 1st, we can add uh, BART to the system um, on October 1st, add that date here, and then we want him to terminate at the end of the year. It will automatically add BART's access on October 1st and then revoke his access on December 31st. So we can schedule the system to add and revoke the access at the user level. So at this time I can move along and add BART to roles so we can add him to an AP clerk. I can also add him uh, to global permissions to the end user uh, easily. So if I want him to have access to general ledger master data and I want to have him view level, I can do that. And then you can also add effective dates on the role. So this would be the case for emergency access that you wanted to add someone to an administrative role just for 30 minutes to release code uh, or as a fighter, f firefighter to uh, fix issues within the system. I can add it either at the login as we saw before or at the role level. At this point I can hit next and it will show us the SOD risks that are going to be created with this new access. Uh, there is a tolerance within the system, so only certain users are able to either request or approve high-risk access within the system. But again, it's a preventative control uh, to make sure that no risks are created without review uh, from a manager or from a department head at this time. So we can look for any notes and add those notes so our manager will understand why the re request is being made, and then we'll get a summary of that and then we can submit that for approval. FastPath Assure also provides flexible approval rules for identity management. Approvals can be set up by user, by role, by SOD tolerance, and application. For user, an example would include any time an AP manager requests that an AP clerk is added to the system, it goes to the controller for approval. You can also set up a group of approvers for those requests as well. So either the CFO, the controller, the AP manager, two out of the three of those users, one out of the three of those individuals would have to approve that request before it would be processed into the system. You can also set up approvers for specific roles. So anytime someone adds a user to the administrator role, it would need to be approved by the VP of IT, the controller, or the CFO. So you can set it up by user, by role, also by SOD tolerance. So anything that would be a high risk in your organization would have to be approved by both the CFO and the VP of IT. Once that request is submitted for approval, the approvers will receive an email 
They can click through from that email to approve it. So there's no need to log into the system to find the request. If the approval is rejected, uh, the requester will get a notification that they need to go in and modify or delete that request. Finally, FastPath Assure is an invaluable tool for helping auditors analyze the NetSuite system notes. The Audit Trail module in Assure allows auditors to quickly look at system notes across objects, users, dates, and roles. So for example, if we wanted to see all of the changes a certain user made across all objects for a certain time, we can easily do that. Here we can click on record type. So if we wanted to look at customer changes, general ledger account changes, changes to vendors, we could include all of those in one search instead of just searching for the changes to one specific customer. We can also look across dates so if we wanted to say everything from the beginning of the year until now, we can easily do that. And then we can filter uh, based on the user as well. So if I hit submit here, it's going to bring back a list of the changes in the system. So we can hear, see here that Zach updated a vendor, the name of the vendor, how he changed that vendor, and the company he changed that vendor. If we click on view, it will take us directly back into NetSuite to see the details of that change. So again, it makes it very easy uh, to schedule these reports for delivery, review, and sign-off, which ensures that the right users are getting the right data at the right time. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about FastPath Assure for NetSuite. For more information or to schedule a demo of all the advanced features, please visit our website at www.gofastpath.com.